guys and welcome back to my channel the Appalachian home so in today's video I am going to be trying out this brand new laser cutter machine this is the X tool D1 and this machine was actually sent over to me from make block make block is the maker of the X tool laser cutting machine they are a world-renowned coding robot manufacturer and education solution provider and they want to provide creators and crafters such as you and me and educational people with software that is powerful but easy to use as well as hardware that is also safe and stylish so I have the X tool D1 to review and I I wanted to show you guys this machine and what it can do. So here are some of the projects I was actually able to create with this machine. I was able to make some engravings on stainless steel and leather. I also made these really neat wooden tag cutouts for some stockings for this Christmas using some basswood. I was also able to laser engrave my initials on my Ray Dunn mug. So now I'm going to quickly unbox and set up the machine. I was also sent this rotary roller engraving module that's going to allow me to laser engrave on round cylindrical objects such as that metal coated tumbler and I'm super excited to be able to use that. So right out of the box you're going to find a user guide card, a set of stickers, and then a little package that's going to contain your zip ties and some sample materials. It comes with basswood, a little leather sample, and a coated aluminum card as well as an SD card to place in your machine. It also includes all the screws and wrenches that you will need to set up the machine as well as a little metal pet tag. First opening the box I noticed how well packaged this was. It was very secure and it was very padded. All these parts were in their own little compartment so I just took out those compartments and laid these parts out as shown on the diagram. You can find a diagram of all your parts if you go to support.xtool.com. They will give you a list of all the parts that are supposed to come in your machine kit as well as a manual on how to set up this particular XD1. In the manual you'll find all your safety regulations and then a set of instructions that are numbered to help you start to set up your machine. I quickly set this up. Installation should only take about 10 minutes and I used the user guide um, on their website as well as an Xtool video. I'll link both of those below. But you want to go ahead and just set up your machine at all four corners and then it comes with a set of screws that you will just simply screw in at each corner. After setup, two screws at the back of the machine will help you adjust your belt tightness. Just make sure not to screw them in too tightly or you will damage your belts. There's also a middle plate that actually carries your laser that you'll need to install. You just connect it to the rollers on each side of your machine and then screw it in to attach it. This machine has two stepper motors that allow this middle plate and laser to move up and down and left and right on the X and Y axis and these belts are attached to the last part of the machine you will have to install and that is this metal optical shaft but I just popped it into place and tightened the screws very easy very simple Last, you want to attach all of your cords, and this is where the video really helped me. The video really showed where everything goes. And once you have all your cords attached, you will need to use these zip ties. These help you keep all the cords out of the way when your machine is moving. Now, the final piece is my laser. This is a dual diode laser. It was super simple to install. It has a little slot at the back that will actually slide on your machine. I just took the last wire, clipped it into place, slid that on my middle plate, and then adjusted my laser. There is a lever located on the right of the laser, and this is how you will adjust the correct height of the laser. You just release the lever down and drop the laser until the lever touches the material. You can then tighten the laser with a screw located on the left of the laser. Now just raise the lever and it snaps magnetically back into place. Now you're ready to plug in your machine and attach it to your computer. The machine does come with a power cord and a USB cord as well. Now I'm going to install the mini SD card. It just simply goes into a slot at the front of the machine. 
And once you're finished with that, you are ready to install the software. To install the software, I just went to xtool.com slash software. You want to make sure and click on the link for the xtool D1 if that is the machine you are using. You can now use Lightburn software with the xtool D1, but if you are just a beginner like me, you just want to go ahead and install the basic software, which is what I'm doing. I'm selecting the Windows version. If you have a Mac, they do have a, a Mac version as well. So now I'm going to go ahead and open the program and we're going to get started on some projects. Once the program was open, I just simply clicked on the not connected box to the drop down menu and selected my laser box machine. Make sure your power button is on. It is located here at the right of the machine next to the cords. So this is my completely set up Xtool D1. We are ready to go. So we're going to go ahead and try our first project. In Laserbox software, you can either draw your own images, in this case a heart, or you can import images from other programs such as Inkscape. I found that using PNG images worked great for the engraving feature, and SVGs worked great for the cutting feature. You just want to line up those crosshairs. The crosshairs will show you exactly where the laser will start cutting or engraving. I tested all the materials that came with the kit in the actual laser cutting machine as well as this mug and I was very impressed with how all of these turned out. The Xtool D1 laser cutting machines do come in two different versions, the 5 watt and the 10 watt version. I was actually using the 10 watt version in today's video. The 10 watt machine actually uses dual 5 watt lasers to produce a laser power that is equivalent to a single 15 watt laser. It can actually cut through several different materials such as paper, cardboard, wood, bamboo, felt, leather, fabric, acrylic plastic, PVC, and MDF, and it can also laser engrave on those materials as well as things like glass, ceramic, stainless steel, and more. The rotary module allows the machine to engrave on cylindrical objects that are up to 110 millimeters. The use of these risers also allows you to engrave on materials up to 140 millimeters high. 
It has a large engraving area equal to about 16 by 17 inches. This machine has a high precision of 0.01 millimeters and an accuracy that is 0.08 millimeters by 0.08 millimeters, allowing it to make several accurate same passes over a material and the steel wheel shaft we saw earlier and the ability to adjust the tension wheels reduces vibration and engraving and cutting remain accurate even when the machine is working at a fast pace so i hope you enjoyed this video and got some ideas if you are thinking about getting a laser cutter for your crafting hobby or small business if you have any questions, you can leave them in the comments. And thank you so much for watching this video. I hope to see you in the next one. Xtool is having some really great sales going on through Christmas right now. So don't forget to check out the links in the description box below.